I just got a student survey. Do you guys want to check it out? Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, first one. When your teacher asks, how are you doing? How often do you feel that your teacher is really invested in your answer? I think that honestly depends on the relationship that the teacher makes with their students. Um, you know, there are some teachers who like always say hi to you, always do this. So just doing that, the small little things to get you comfortable enough to actually like be honest and say, you know what, this has been going on with like this has been going on and I actually need help. You know, something it feels more genuine when the teacher has already had like a connection with you. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to read it? Yeah. All right. How interested were your teachers in your career after you finished school? Mm, I've had actually quite a bit of teachers uh, who luckily were actually interested because I'm actually going into musical theater. And so um, I was in theater all four years of high school. And, you know, every time I would tell a teacher, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, you know, they all actually got pretty excited. And that was really motivating for me. Um, Cause you know they would even participate like outside of class. Um, they would come to my shows. And, you oh, know they wow. would they would talk to me like about any like shows or anything they've seen and just that kind of stuff. So luckily they they were actually pretty interested in my career and um, I was really grateful for that. Again, it, it feels like it pushed me and it was like wow like maybe I can actually do this if they believe in me. So that's nice. Yeah. And I actually had like a similar yet different story. So for me, you know, I walked into high school thinking I wanted to be in the medical field. Um, and I told my teacher, and my teacher started introducing me to different career fields, like surgeons, nurses, anything like that. And I started hearing about their career and what they did, and I was like, yeah, never mind, I don't want to do that. That's not for me, that's not what I want to do, it's not my passion at all. So then I started talking to my teacher again, and he was like, well, what do you like? What are you good at? And that was a really tough question for me because I didn't find myself that I was good at anything, to be honest, and that's okay. I was good at communicating and presenting in class and, you know, wanting to participate all the time. And I told my teacher, and my teacher was like, okay, so we know what you like, we know what you're good at. And then my senior year, I took a government class, and I was like, wow, I'm actually interested in politics. I actually want to do something in this field, something I like. And so my teacher was all like, hey, I noticed you like, Government, I noticed you like politics, you know, and you're really strong at communicating verbally, oral communication. Put these two together and think of something you'll like to do for the rest of your life. That's that's your passion. And I was like, a congresswoman. <laughs> and so I think that that just shows how teachers can help you, you know, narrow down what you actually want to do. Yeah. Well, next question. question. Alright, if you walked into class upset, how concerned would your teachers be? For me, it's like, it depends on which teacher it is, because um, I have like an anxiety issue, so um, I've had times where I would actually be having full on panic attacks like in front of, in like the middle of the hallway, and I would have these teachers, like some I knew, some I didn't know, just like walk past me, not say a single thing. And then I had um, some other teachers that actually came up to me and like actually like helped me out. They like made sure I was okay, made sure that my parents were called and everything. And like that kind of stuff really stuck with me because it showed me that like the teachers actually, those teachers genuinely cared about like my mental health and like about what's going on in my personal life. And they didn't just see me as a student. Honestly, if a teacher sees a student upset, it's so important for them to reach out. Like. Um, if they ignore it or if they just if they think it's embarrassing and they don't want to talk about it like that like that messes you up so much as yeah. a student you know so it's so important for teachers to be there and listen and you know if you see something wrong say something you know right. if you see a student in trouble say something because that can impact the student so much more than what you think but you know so I yeah. think that's what it is okay. If you had something on your mind, how carefully would your teachers listen to you? I can tell when someone is being genuine and when someone, you know, just doesn't want to hear it. And those moments where they were actually interested in what I had to say, I still remember those, like that moment and those teachers. And I will always remember that because it was kind of like, 
since this is such a, you know, we're growing up and everything that happens to us affects us, you know, how we are and how we will do in the future. So just the moments where teachers would be like, hey, you know, like, what's wrong? And actually be genuine are super important and have impacted me and so much more, so much, just impact me so much. And I know that other students have similar stories to mine. Do you want to get the last question? Oh, sure. Okay. Last question. If you came back to visit class three years from now, how excited would your teachers be? I think it would be very exciting, uh, especially coming from a group of students we had this year. Uh, they would be so excited. For example, I, I mean, I, I still keep in touch with my fifth grade teacher just because she put me on the path that I am right now. Uh, just dealing with my ADHD and you know she just told me like in high school in middle school and high school is gonna be way different like they're not gonna put up with your your slack so keep you know just keep it on keep going what you're doing and uh, now I just every time I pass by my elementary school I stop by to visit her because I remember all the time she told me like hey um, you're doing good how's everything and I like I like you know having a conversation with uh, someone other than my parents mm -hmm. because it's just like they, they can give me another uh, opinion on what they think and also um, my coach, he's very, like, he's just so happy on, on what I do. And, and it's just, they're just grateful. I'm just grateful to have them uh, in my life because uh, if I come back or if I, I need them, I call them, they'll, they'll be here mm -hmm. to support me throughout everything. Yeah, and then coming from, like, a student's perspective, whenever, like, a, um, an old student comes in, like, uh, after they've already graduated or something, I, I personally find it, like, kind of like exciting seeing like the teacher be happy about those students yeah. coming because it's like wow like if I came back you know like would they care that much you know would they really be interested in what I've done with my life yeah. and you know seeing that firsthand like you know it, it's really touching almost in a way it's like if you know if they're excited about this t uh, this student doing it like I should work hard so I can impress them yeah. you know when I come back yeah. so it, it is really I really like it whenever teachers are excited about it so yeah make them feel proud Woo. But yeah, so um, I, I'm really glad we answered all these questions, Me and too. I really hope you know more teachers can um, can you know learn to reach out to their students, and you know I just hope you know they have a good school year and everything goes well. So yeah, yeah. Yep. twenty nineteen. 19. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh. Right.